I really like this test. The whole goal of this was to see if my 100 watt laundry drying rack solar panel would power up a DeWalt car charger, you know, for their 20 volt lithium batteries. So I got a little test jig going here. Here is the DeWalt DCB119 charger. And let's look at the back side here. There's some specs on it. It says it's six amps at 12 volts, about 72 watts when it's charging consumption. So I rigged up a little test jig with a power socket receptacle on the load side of the solar charger and tested it with my battery tester here and it works. It's a great tester. Oh, this is really cool. I put in a uh, 25 amp rated power socket in the back of the Chevy and I got this on eBay. This thing is one heavy duty unit. I think it's got some old school Bakelite material in there, but I can tell you it is really slick. All right, check this out. I needed a battery to be somewhat discharged, so I turned on my DeWalt spotlight here, right? And look how long I've had it. I put the timer on here to show you how long I have had this thing on. It's over three hours. It's a five amp hour, 20 volt lithium battery, XR. And look at the fuel gauge here. So hats off the DeWalt, <laughs> it's still fully charged. Well, it's got a lot of charge to it, let's put it that way. But I think it'll work. So I moved that to the back of the tailgate of the truck. And uh, this thing's really heavy duty. I like this unit a lot. Come in handy at a work site when you don't want to run your truck. Here I am just checking the state of charge on the truck's battery. And I am in float mode. Good, it's fully charged sweet but here's the deal here's the sun I get to work with this morning and my garage door faces east so this is morning uh, but it's, this actually turned out really good with this intermittent clouds and I'll show you here in a second all right check this out so I got everything plugged up and guess what bing 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 it's charging pack is charging all right let's look at the numbers all right the load on that DeWalt says it's about 4.3 amps and push the button here the battery sitting at 13.7 this is when I had direct Sun on it okay so it's using about 4.3 amps to charge that 20 volt battery you know voltage and wattage is current is related so now it's up to 5 amps but check this out so what I did is I turned the solar panels away from the sun and on this solar charger I got it set at 12 volts it just turns off the load this is actually kind of cool so the load is zero the DeWalt charger isn't charging the battery and then I turned the solar panels back into the sun I got some good sun now peeking through and being a bag boom there it goes it's charging and it's using about 5 amps Hey, what's the battery voltage at? Battery voltage is sitting at 12, so 5 times 12 is 60 watts. But it's charging. Cool. And the battery voltage is going up. Cool. All right, a little bonus video here. I moved the 100 watt laundry drying rack solar panel and the DeWalt charger onto my backyard solar generator, and it works. Uh, but what I can deduct is that. Uh, for this charger to work optimally, it needs you know the, either the car or truck running or a good power source coming in, you know, higher voltage and stuff. But uh, I don't know the electronics in the DeWalt, but uh, I think that's the way you want to run these things, is to make sure the truck's running or you got a good power source. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and hope you enjoy this video, and let me know what you think. See ya!